everyone, Chris here from Audio Technology Magazine. I wanted to give you a quick guided tour of the sounds and architecture of the Korg Op 6. Korg has plenty of desirable and super popular analog synths in this kind of form factor. Op 6 isn't one of those synths. There's very little to it, and being a digital synth, this is understandable. And this isn't Korg's first foray into FM synthesis. The Volker FM saw to that. Korg gave fans a sneak peek of the Op6 back in January at the NAMM show. The production unit you see here today looks somewhat different, but the fundamentals remain. It's a performance synth. And it's a programmer's synth for true fans, but I suspect there are software recreations that are better suited to FM programming. I really don't want this video to be a half-baked FM synthesis tutorial, but some background is necessary, so bear with me as I give you a 60-second primer. Yamaha popularised FM synthesis in the early 80s with the DX7. For many, it was their first exposure to digital synth sounds. Bright, crisp, and well-suited to the new compact disc era. Yamaha sold truckloads of DX7s. No one could quite figure out how to program it, except famously Brian Eno. The DX7 had six voices, or operators. So does the Op6, the clues in the name. An operator can be a carrier voice or it can modulate a carrier voice. Op6 voices are more varied and complex than the DX7 sine waves. The operators can be arranged in different ways, modulating each other in different orders and permutations. These arrangements are called algorithms in FM speak. Op6 is a bunch of these algorithms. It also has three effects engines. FM synthesis programming is for true believers, but the Op6 at least makes it possible, largely thanks to the six sliders that change the level of the six operators. The sliders are color coded so you know if you're dealing with a carrier or a modulator operator. The pots above alter the ratio of the voice, which changes the frequency of the voice. Op6 has a capable arpeggiator section and a sequencer that will be familiar territory for those who know the likes of the Minilog XD. This is a Korg synth, so you can also record motion sequencing. It's these aspects that will give fresh joy to the FM experience. As for the sounds, there are plenty of nods to the traditional FM sounds of the 80s the Kenny Loggins bass sound, the Whitney Houston electric pianos and more. There are also lots in here that's bang up to date. The hard sync sounds, the complex evolving pads and tough bass sounds, they're impossible to ignore. Mercifully, the sound of a patch doesn't get cut off when you activate another.
I don't think the Op6 is a purchase you'll make with your heart. There's no magic fairy dust sprinkled over this synth. It's a workhorse. It sounds snappy, modern, and clangorous when it needs to, and will be a distinct and unique voice in your synth palette.